and uh, that picture from, I believe it was Life Magazine from 1959, it was a black and white picture, it really sort of something, it just gripped his heart and he's like, I got to see this thing, I got to find it. And what happened was a few years later, in 1977, Ron went to Turkey and he prayed to God that he would find the remains of Noah's Ark, and he did. And then he came back in 1978 after he heard there was an earthquake, and he went to the remains, and what happened was the earthquake dropped all the soil from all around the ship, if you may, exposing the actual ark. So what it would have taken archaeologists years to do, God just did it in less than a minute. And uh, I'll tell you why, Rick, because we are not allowed to excavate the remains of Noah's Ark. The, the Turkish government has said no. They believe it's been found, but they won't let nobody touch it. Okay. Now, um, uh, uh, we've shown a, a picture of Ron Wyatt and uh, a couple of pictures, of course. Uh, now, Ron Wyatt is not living today, is that correct? That's correct. He passed away on August 4th of 1999. Okay. Now, uh, the next photograph we're going to show is you with Ron. And who's the other gentleman with Oh, you? that's my brother, Joey. Okay. And he's, uh, right now, he's on fire for God, on fire for God. Thank God. God is using me and him to, uh, in regards to discoveries. Okay. And uh, 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 where was that picture taken? Was it in his home? Or? That was at his house in June, I believe June 6th of 1999. He was uh, already sick. He had colon cancer, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he was in a bathrobe. Unfortunately, though, so he was already, um, I guess, in his latter days. Okay. I don't know if you want to do that again. It, no, the latter that's okay. days. That's okay. I, I, just, I understand. I understand that uh, that uh, he shared a lot of his discoveries with you and, and expounded on them. This is not the only thing that Ron has discovered. Just give us a quick rundown of some of the things that God allowed Ron to uh, uh, to. Fine. Sure. In his uh, expedition. Since uh, he was an amateur archaeologist called of God, you know, let me tell you, Ron would be the kind of person who would say, Rick, I'm too dumb to find anything in my own. God just simply helped me. That was, he really believed that and he knew that to be true. Uh, Ron's credited with finding the Tower of Babel in the central Turkey, the discovery of Noah's Ark, the remains of Noah's Ark, the anchor stones that came with it also. He's known to have discovered Noah's house. He discovered the Red Sea crossing site, the Exodus route, Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, Raphidin, the, the rock that uh, Moses struck where water came out, that's about 60 feet tall. It's an incredible rock. Ron also discovered the cities of the plain, Sodom and Gomorrah, and the Bible tells you also it was Adma, Zeboim, and Zoar. There were five cities. And Ron also discovered the crucifixion site of Jesus. And two years after that, he discovered the Ark of the Covenant underneath, 20 feet below the crucifixion site, with the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat. That's awesome. We, we, uh, we, we Amen. had a special about the, uh, uh, the Ark of the Covenant not too long ago. and um, That's right. Those who didn't uh, uh, get to see that program, uh, we, we would like to do that again. Um, okay, here we go. And uh, uh, I understand, uh, I see a book. Have you written a book? Yes. And, and, what, and what's the name of the book? The book is called Discovering Biblical Truth, Uncovering God's Faith. Okay, we have a picture of that book, and okay. uh, I'd like to show the people now. And... Uh, um, if anybody uh, uh, would like to speak uh, with uh, Dr. Michael, uh, we, we have a website, and uh, we're going to show that right now uh, uh, where you can contact him. Uh, he does seminars in churches and organizations, Amen. and um, uh, you would not be disappointed to have him come, and, uh, and uh, 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 we definitely would uh, uh, appreciate that. And, of course, uh, um, I, I understand that... Uh, that uh, God is directing you to go back to Israel. Now. That's correct. And uh, uh, we're, we're, this is off the subject of Noah's Ark for a minute, but what, what do you believe God is going to do when you get there? Rick, I believe God has called me to go back to Israel to 